All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabras tutorial channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about how you fix the Discord update loop. You try to turn on Discord in the morning because you want to hang out with your friends, and there's been an update, and the only thing that keeps happening is it just keeps acting like it's downloading the exact same file over and over and over again, no matter how many times you restart it, how many times you just let it sit and you wait all day, it just has something wrong. And there's one of two ways that you can fix this. The simple way, that doesn't involve reinstalling everything and re-inputting your information, is to simply fiddle with the update file itself. So the first thing that you need to do is actually go and close Discord. You can do that by right-clicking Discord, and then of course opening up the task manager to ensure that no other instances of Discord are actually running in the background. Because Discord can be a little bit naughty like you see here, and even though I've closed it out in my taskbar, it's still running in the background. So in order to get this fix to work, we want to end any process of Discord that we still see in our Task Manager Processes tab by selecting it and hitting End Task. Once you've done that, we're going to open up the local... Once we're done with that, we're going to open up the App Data folder, specifically the local App Data folder, in order to get at Discord's hidden settings and files. In order to do that, we just go down to the Windows 10 search bar. You can do this similarly in Windows 7 and Windows 8. The search bar is just in a different place. And we're going to type in percent local app data percent and hit enter. And this is going to bring up the local file, which is in your app data file. And what this is, it's, it's all the hidden background files that programs use to do stuff, what they use to think and to store information. And this is where Discord keeps a lot of its stuff. So we're just going to scroll down until we find the Discord folder, open it up, and you should find a file that is named something like update.exe. It'll read as an application file, and this is the file that Discord is attempting to download, and something went wrong, it got corrupted, or something got borked, and it's having trouble reading and using that file. So we're just going to right-click and rename it, and I renamed mine to underscore one, and I just clicked off to the side to finish, and that's all I have to do, and now Discord thinks that that's a different file than it's the one it's looking for, and now it's going to try and download this file again, a brand new version of it, so that it can try updating again. And that's really all you gotta do for most instances. Other times, you might have to do a full reinstall of Discord in order to get it to work properly again, and if it's still not working, you might want to get in touch with the Discord tech support people. Sometimes it can take them a little bit to get back to you, but they're actually pretty helpful in figuring out what issues you might be having, or if you want to report a bug to them. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you fix the Discord update loop bug. I've been your host, Larry. If you have any questions or comments about this, you can drop those in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to have a chat with you or to help you figure things out as best as I can. Although it should be worth mentioning that with a lot of technical problems, I'm just gonna Google it too. So yeah, if you got any of those questions, throw them down there. Until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Hope this helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye everybody, and have a good one.